Hey everyone, today we are going to look at another member of the herpes family, CMV or cytomegalovirus. Infection caused by this virus is almost always inapparent due to prolonged latency of the virus. It is for this very reason that people carry the virus with them for the rest of their lives. The virus is always obtained from a human reservoir. It could spread through the saliva, urine, semen, cervical secretions, tears, through intrauterine transmission, breast milk or parenterally. It is important to remember that most individuals carrying the virus are asymptomatic, which makes it easily transmissible and difficult to diagnose. Let's discuss the pathogenesis of CMV. The virus establishes itself in the salivary glands, more specifically the salivary epithelium. From here, it establishes a persistent infection in fibroblast, epithelial cells and macrophages. When the virus becomes latent, it moves into the mononuclear cells, that is, the lymphocytes and monocytes. The disease caused by the virus is called cytomegalic inclusion disease. It is most commonly transmitted in utero. The symptoms range from infection with no obvious defects to severe disease, which includes jaundice, hepatosplenomegaly, thrombocytic purpura, CNS damage or even death. Of these, thrombocytic purpura has led to the development of the name blueberry muffin baby. Here is a clinical image for you to correlate. CMV also causes mononucleosis. It is very important to remember that it causes a heterophile negative form of mononucleosis. Heterophile antibodies are antibodies induced by external antigens which are not present in this form of the disease. It causes fatigue and pharyngitis, which could be symptoms of almost any disease. This condition affects both adults and children. In immunocompromised or AIDS patients, CMV infection may cause interstitial pneumonitis. It is a severe systemic infection commonly caused by reactivation of the virus in a transplanted organ. Another opportunistic infection caused by the virus is cytomegalovirus retinitis. This can lead to permanent blindness if not treated in time. To diagnose CMV, any of the body fluids that transmit the disease can be used as specimens for serology or DNA detection. Biopsy reveals owl eye inclusion bodies, which are also called cytomegalic cells. These are basophilic intranuclear inclusions resembling owl eyes. This is why it is also called cytomegalic inclusion disease. An easy way to remember it is as cytomegalovirus. For the treatment of the disease, supportive therapy is sufficient for healthy individuals. In immunocompromised patients, AIDS patients or transplant recipients, ganiclovid is the drug of choice. It can be prescribed with or without foscarnet and human immunoglobulin. Infections by the cytomegalovirus are preventable. Always practice safe sex and screen blood and organs before transplant. I hope this video helps you remember everything important about cytomegalovirus. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.